I'm working on Saturn now. I've turned it into a sphere on the lathe. I'm using canary wood, which has a uh, remarkable similarity to the to the uh, to the look of the planet Saturn. Um, and obviously, the problem that Saturn introduces is the rings, and I've been puzzling over this for quite a while. My thinking, and this is, uh, I don't know until this, I get that far, and, is that I'm going to use um, brass shim stock and machine rings out of it, and then mount them on the planet at an angle, um, you know, through the, through the equatorial axis. So what I've set up to do right now is drill some tiny holes. Uh, this is a number 68 drill bit um, because I'm going to use this very, very thin piano wire to put a pin, you know, here and then 180 degrees below it um, down here. That will hold the rings um, at the equator. I'm then going to tilt everything and drill another hole so that I can run the rings on an angle like this. Uh, I'm using the um, shoreline sensitive drill bit attachment. Um, it's a spring-loaded device that lets you, you know, very slowly feel your way into drilling something. Um, and with these tiny bits, it's um, almost a necessity. The downside is there is no way of knowing how deep you're going. In this particular case, it really doesn't matter. Um, as long as I'm deep enough to get a grip on the piano wire, I can then, you know, snip it at whatever length I need. So that I can, so I've rotated it 180 degrees, and now I'm going to uh, drill a matching hole uh, again along the equator, but on the opposite side of the sphere. I've now rotated the uh, the rotary table 30 degrees off the normal, and. This is the effect that I'm trying to get. This is a crude ring at best, but um, by drilling a hole for a pin here, it should allow me to put the rings at the sort of tilt that I'm looking for. Um, this has little or nothing to do with the actual tilt of the rings in real life. It's more of an aesthetic choice. Um, but I think, I think that'll look pretty good. Of course, I won't know until I actually make the rings and try it. But anyway, I'm going to drill this final hole here. And, uh, The next thing I'll show you is how I intend, how I'm going to make the rings. I've never done that before with such thin stock, but uh, we'll experiment and figure it out. I've begun milling the uh, rings of Saturn. I'm using um, a Brass shim stock, it's 10 one thousandths uh, thick. I've got, I'm using double faced tape to hold it to a piece of um, ABS uh, waste board. I'm using a 5 64th um, end mill, uh, it's a carbide end mill, and I'm taking very shallow cuts, about three thousandths of an inch, because um, I certainly don't want this 
tearing loose from the from the tape. The cutting of the uh, inner circle is now completed, and I'm just uh, doing the last step, which is to um, cut the outer circle, which is the exterior of the ring, and then this whole thing will just um, you know be finished and, and pop out of here. When I complete this ring, I intend to cut another one just like it. Um, my thinking is I'd like to have two rings stacked above one another, you know, with a with a tiny uh, gap in between them, um, held apart by those pins we drilled uh, before into the planet, and that'll give um, you know much more depth and a much more of a, of a 3D look to the rings. Of course, that's all in theory. We'll see what it looks like when I start to uh, try to put this all together. I'm working on the, the uh, rings of Saturn um, still. The, when we machined them, I told you I had used uh, two-sided tape to hold it down to this piece of ABS uh, waste board. Um, the way I see, if you just tried, if you just tried to pry this off, uh, it would have bent these and made a real mess. So I use this um, this product called uh, Goo Gone. Um, it's really incredible. It's it's citrus based and it dissolves adhesive. Um, so I just um, soaked this. Um, you know, parts in, in this, in this goo gone, I let the, uh, you know, most of the adhesive melt, and then I very gently, using a very, very flat spatula, just slid under the rings and just gently lifted them off. After I had removed the pieces, I used an acetone to, uh, to clean them get all of this on. What I'm going to do now, and I've done this with every piece of metal in the orrery, I'm using a product called uh, Simichrome Polish. And it's a, it's a pink paste. And I'm applying it with uh, white cotton flannel, which is, uh, with, which is what they recommend, but it's incredibly soft. And you can find this anywhere. I mean, I got mine at Walmart, and you know, you, you buy it by the yard. A couple of yards of this costs just a few dollars. And then, um, just to be sure it was completely soft, I, I threw it in the washing machine and um, you know, ran it through the cycle just to get it uh, as soft as possible. Um, what this, what the Simicrum does, is it removes any any dirt tarnish. Um, it just really does a beautiful job of cleaning um, metal, particularly brass. Um, and it also leaves behind a, uh, a protective um, finish, you know, which you can't see, but um, You know, that protective finish um, slows down the, and hopefully prevents the oxidation process that is so typical of brass. This takes patience and it's a bit messy, but um, it's 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 worth it. You get a really nice uh, look when you're all finished. If you recall, we put uh, three pins on the planet so that the ring could sit on it like this, um, and then I want to sandwich two rings together so. Where the fourth pin would be, uh, I'm going to 
I'm going to glue a small pin in that location so when I glue the, the rings together you know there are separators you know at all four quadrants I'm just putting a tiny amount of glue here and I have no idea if you can see this pin it's tiny I'm just going to try to get that where I want it. That's about right. Now that's just, like I said, it's, a, it's going to act as a spacer. I'm now ready to attach the two rings to, um, to Saturn. I'm using um, I'm using I'm using cyanoacrylate. This is the this is the gel kind. I'm using very little of it. Just I'm trying to. So the first thing I want to do is attach the upper ring carefully. Get it on all three pins, nice and centered. Just like that. <clears throat> now I flip the uh, flip the planet over, and I'm now going to um, follow the same procedure. to glue the bottom ring in place. Carefully, just place this ring so that it exactly lines up the first one. Just applying some pressure here to make sure everything sets right. And that's it. That's the that's the effect I've been looking for. Um, you know, there are two rings, they're floating above the planet. Um, hopefully you can see that there's a, you know, a nice gap between them, so it's got more of a 3D look than, than you know, just one set of rings would have had. And I'm uh, pretty happy with this. 